from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, Americana Outdoors proudly presents the exclusive coverage of the 2018 <laughs> championship action from two renowned events, the Hobie Fishing Worlds in Oamal, Sweden, and the IFA Redfish Tour Championship presented by Kiss Cabela's. Em. Let's begin with the most anticipated event in kayak fishing, the Hobie Fishing World 7 in Sweden. Kayak anglers from across the globe converge on the western waters of Lake Vanern, Sweden's largest lake and the third largest lake in Europe. This lakeside community, about 10,000 people here, very, very friendly and uh, the hospitality has been fantastic. We're here for Hobie Fishing World 7. We've got 20 uh, countries, 48 of what I think are the best kayak anglers in the world, all competing in a three-day comp uh, to determine who's gonna be Hobie Fishing World's seven world champ. The Hobie Fishing World Championship has always had a global presence. It started in 2011 in New South Wales, Australia, before moving the next year to Texas, immediately doubling in size. After a return to Victoria, Australia in 2013, the Hobie Fishing Worlds hopped to the Netherlands for 2014. In 2015, anglers tested their skills on Shang Lake in Shangshu, China. Last year, the rich fishery of Louisiana hosted an intense competition. Now, it's time to return to Europe once again. The Hobie Fishing World 7 is a three-day competition with catch, photograph, and release format targeting pike and perch. The daily target is two pike and two perch, and all fish must be at least the minimum legal length. The world's best kayak anglers from five continents will be fishing from identically and lavishly rigged 2018 Hobie Mirage Pro Angler 14 kayaks. The Hobie Pro Angler 14s are powered by the Hobie Mirage Drive 180 pedal drive system with turbo fins. So these anglers are gonna have the extra power they need to power across this lake. And if they wanna go into reverse, they pull a cable and they're backing out when they're getting close to those shorelines. On the back of the kayaks, you'll find a power pole micro anchor. This is a shallow water anchor. The anglers in these back shallow bays are able to stop themselves, fan cast and work an area thoroughly before moving on to the next zone. The Hobie Pro Angler 14s are ready. The anglers are here. The weather's nice. The fish are biting. It's time for the Hobie Fishing World 7 to begin. Registration is set at Harry's Waterside Restaurant Function Room, where the anglers receive welcome packs chock full of sponsor products and their official tournament jerseys. Prefish Day 1 kicks off this morning on Lake Vanern in Åmål, Sweden. I've fished here twice. Uh, the first time I fished here, the first time I came, uh, I was lucky enough to get a 108 centimetre pike, which I thought was really quite okay, but it's just average, or so they tell me. in here is incredible. It's like nothing you'll ever experience. We just wrapped up day two of pre-fish. That means tomorrow's tournament begins. 
uh, we're feeding the anglers some good moose burgers. So they've got a great selection of local fare. They're hungry because they're catching fish. So they're catching pike like crazy, a lot of big pike. The elusive fish is the perch. There's always that elusive species each event we have. This year, the perch, these guys are struggling to figure out how to catch them. Those that do will be at the leaderboard. Americana Outdoors and the coverage of the Hobie Fishing World 7 will be right back after these messages. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. You sons of fishes. Ain't enough fish on this lake for two clubs. Really? Well, we see plenty of fish live with pan optics. Yep. Dang! We should get pan optics. Maybe we'll just take yours. What's going on here? You boys have license? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nope. There he is. Oh, I got him. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Hobie, Hobie Fishing Mirage Drive Pedal Systems. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors and the coverage of the Hobie Fishing World 7 in Sweden. 47 of the world's best kayak anglers set off and hope to get an excellent start to the three-day championship. Weather conditions are near perfect as the strong winds from yesterday had eased into a more manageable seven to eight knot breeze blowing from a northeasterly direction. Temperatures are cool but comfortable and will rise throughout the day to peak in the low 70s by mid-afternoon. Tell you, baby. Yeah, it was okay. I started with an early fish, only small, but it uh, gets me off and running. It's only about 60, 65, something like that. I uh, just thought I'd start close in where I had the fish yesterday, so try and get a couple on the board and then uh, try and get some bigger ones and, uh, and then go for the perch. A few people have gone off already and uh, tried all the spots, but I think I'll just hang out here for a bit, try and upgrade. Ah, this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, shows you how good the fishery is, though. You put 20 anglers out here and we're all catching fish. I mean, I think some of the fish are up shallow feeding, uh, but then there's some others that are hanging off a little bit deeper. Just kind of working it in, working it out, seeing what happens. A lot of people hooking up, though. They're here. You gotta say hi to mom. What's up, mom? <laughs> Forty, yeah. Uh, that's my biggest one all week. It puts me up there, that's for sure. Now that's a Swedish perch. No, it's been a long morning. I've been casting a money minnow and just switching from plastics. Downsized, tried to find some decent fish or any fish at all. Uh, we come up here, we found some grass, and they're laying right off the edge of the grass. Finally felt good to pick one up today, so. Hobie Fishing World 7, presented by Rhino Rack, is in the book 
after three days of intensive and exciting tournament fishing. The seventh Hobie Fishing World Championship came down to the final intense moments. Coming in third is Jian Huang from China with a total length of 595 centimeters. The winner of 2018 Hobie Fishing Worlds seven in a mall, Sweden. The man so generous he gave his bait away, Mr. Salah Edibe. The truly humble sportsman from Germany with a never say die attitude, Salah Adin El Barbucci became the 2018 Hobie Fishing World Champion. The pride of Germany and of Europe, which has finally gained its first world fishing title. The second place belongs to Rob Baginski of Canada with a total length of 600 centimeters. Now I, I am excited for next year. I, I hope maybe Australia or Brazil. Yeah, thank you, Hobie. Thank you, all another guys from the team. It's great, great, fantastic job. And I hope I see you next year. Thank you, guys. And here's the top 10 of the Hobie Fishing World 7. And congratulations to all the anglers who participated in the Hobie Fishing World 7. Find out more about the next Hobie Fishing Worlds in Gold Coast of Australia. Look us up at HobieFishingWorlds.com. Well, coming up, the strongest grassroot inshore tournament series, the IFA Redfish Tour Championship, presented by Cabela's. Stay tuned. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. Yamaha's legendary reliability begins when you turn the key on your new outboard. Now, when you say yes to Yamaha reliability, turn the key on even greater value. For a limited time, purchase a qualifying Yamaha outboard up to 115 horsepower and get five years of warranty protection, plus up to $500 in dealer credit. And on qualifying 150 to 300 horsepowers, get six full years of warranty protection. So say yes to reliability and say yes to a great deal from Yamaha. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy, Angle Coolers, rugged, durable, high-performance marine coolers, and by Sawyer Products. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors and the 2018 IFA Redfish Tour Championship, presented by Cabela's. Well, it's been a long season affected by hurricanes and high water, but here we are in Hopedale, Louisiana. We've got 119 teams qualified to be here this week. Teams who'll fish for two days, looking for the heaviest redfish within Louisiana's 18 to 28 inch slot limit as $100,000 are up for grab, including two decked out Ranger boats. Now the big factor this week has been the wind and it's expected to blow again today gusting near 20 miles an hour. An added challenge for those making the long run down to Venice. All right, getting right into the tournament coverage, we're starting off with Mike Taylor and John Roberts, qualifying out of the Atlantic Division. Yeah, this is a nice one here. Good one. All right, all right, there we go. Now here we go in Livewell. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> He's Livewell worthy. Hey, yes, sir, buddy. We'll take it. All right. Woo! Good job, man. Good job. Now let's check in with the team of Casey Brunning and Ty Hibbs. Now, after making a near 90-minute run to Delacroix, Brunning hooked into the first fish of the morning. Ah, dog it small. Always throw the first one in the live well, no matter what he is. Build up a little. Make conference. sure we keep him alive. Yeah. This old faithful right there. Always keep you out of trouble in the redfish world. Gulp under a popping cork. <laughs> that right there, you ever get trapped in the marsh? 
You got one of these and a gold spoon, you're gonna live good. <laughs> oh. He's in, he's in. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Good one? Yeah. He's more worried about he's the not, damage than anything now. He's not over. He's way over. He's gonna be. <laughs> Dude. Oh, I'll him for the hell of it. <sighs> we gotta push the limit with oh him. Oh my god. What is he? Over eight and a half? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, he looked like he's about 28 inches. <laughs> he fought about like 32 inches on a popping cork. But that's what we want right there. We want them to look so big that we know they're over. Put them on the board and they're a quarter inch under. Yeah, I would bet on it. We do it. All right. Mm, if he measures, he's hey. not going to gonna be a bit <laughs> over. <laughs> Man. Point seven and a quarter. Man. Fishing in Louisiana can spoil you. Yeah, that was a nine pounder for sure. Teams are reporting catching 50 or 60 fish each day, but in tournament fishing, you're only looking for the right two. It's more of a challenge than you might realize. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> Drive you crazy. Oh. All right, let's get back to Casey Brunning oh, and Ty Hibbs. Oh, Troll the motor, troll motor. You gonna grab the rod? I still feel it. He's good, he's good, he's good. Or just grab him or something. I got the net. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> he's over, but I don't think he's over, dude. Look at him. He's, he's, he's humped back. back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pinch and sweep right there on the shortest board I could possibly find. To really push let's, on. Let's put it. Let's put him in the well. All right. Welcome back to Hopedale Marina. Day one of the IFA Redfish Tour Championship is in the books. Wind and water levels kept things interesting, but by day's end, the fishery and the talent of this championship field were both well represented. Heading to the scales, we check in with our first of our feature teams, Mike Taylor and John Roberts. They left this morning hoping for an eight pound average and they did exactly that, weighing two for 1606. Casey Brunning and Ty Hibbs did a bit better. They weigh in for 1719, putting them in third place. Coming in second are Dwayne Lachette and Kevin Aiken with a total of 1760. And at the top of the leaderboard are Ryan Rickard and Dustin Tillett, pushing the scales to 1778. All right, all right, here's a look at the rest of the top 10. And when we come back, it's the final day of the 2018 IFA Redfish Tour Championship, presented by Cabela's. Secrets are created to protect information, but keeping a secret is not as easy as it seems. For over a decade, anglers across the nation have used secret lures tackle to reel in their catch. From small ponds to large bodies of water and tour level events, the secret to their success has been tied to the end of their line all along. They've been using secret lures. First you've heard of them? Maybe your fishing buddies aren't really your buddies. Visit secretlures.com and place your order today. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting. We keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Power Pole, Swift, Silent, secure, and by Secret Lures. The secret is out. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors on the final day of the 2018 IFA Redfish Tour Championship presented by Cabela's. 
All right, on day one, we launched a field of 119 teams, and at the end of the day, Florida's Ryan Rickard and Dustin Tillett were sitting on top. Here you go. Oh, shoot. Hold on, watch, watch yourself, watch yourself. A good fish. Yes. Good fish. Yes. yes. He's there all day. 26 and a quarter. Now we're checking in with Dwayne Achete and Kevin Aiken. These fish over here, for whatever reason, aren't doing like they typically do in October. Staying right. That's good. They're kind of schooled up, moving around, doing their thing. They're really kind of just sitting on windy banks where the tide and the wind are rolling with it. Right here. Oh, get the big one, get the big one. Here, just, he ate it. Double. They're both little. They're both little, Dwayne, I wouldn't even worry about it. That boy. Double, double in the morning. Let's get back on Rickard and Tillett. We're back at the original spot, hoping to make something happen because we ain't got a ton more time. <laughs> Hopefully we can see one pop up in front of us and stick him. Hopefully he's eight and a half or better. That's what we need. There he is right there. Watch there out. he is. Got him. That's a slot fish, buddy. Yeah, I know. You ready? Please be slot. Be slot. No, oh, he's in there. He's in there. Are we sure? Yeah, 100%. Look. He's there all day. 100%. He's there all day. Yes, Get him yes. in the freaking well. You want to you wanna tag him or no? Just put him in the well for right now. Measure him, put him in the well. Eight and three quarters. All right, get him in there, quick. Nice. Freak yeah! Does this other one have a ball on him? Yeah, the other one's got a ball on him. <sighs> yeah, boy. That is huge. Yeah, boy. That is huge. Come on! We that need one more. That is huge. Freaking one more! Getting back to Aiken and Achete, they've got two for a total of 16 pounds, and time is running out. He's right here snaking, going down one away from us. He just went that way. No, no. He's right here. See him? Power pole! It's a good one, Dwayne. Give me a second. Come on, baby, measure. Come on, baby, measure. Come on, baby, measure. Come on, I mean, he's good right there. You're good with it? I'm good with it. Hey, we, you going for the win or the loss? I'm with it. We're back in Hopedale Marina. It's been an incredible two days of fishing here in Louisiana, and now it's time to head to the scales. Finishing in third is the team of Britt Ordiz and Travis Land with a two-day total of 33.65. Ordiz and Land won the event in 2016. Ryan Rickard and Dustin Tillett lead the field on day one but came up a little short today, fishing out in second with a total of 34.48. And the 2018 IFA Redfish Tour Championships are Duena Chete and Kevin Aiken. They got a big bag today, adding 1771 for a total weight of 3531. All right, and here's the rest of the top 10. Our final order of business, Casey Brunning and Ty Hibbs won the points race for team of the year, picking up trophies and an additional $5,000 for their efforts. Well, that's a wrap for another season of the IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's. For schedules and registration for the 2019 season, go to ifatours.com. And for any outdoors products you've seen on the show, they're all available at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. Hey, thank you for watching, and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world.
when it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Down after. That's a better one. <laughs> Good fish right there. Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride. Here at Big Bike Base, we've got a big line of different plastics, and you know they're all a tool, so you want to have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas, flipping that right there. Just a six-inch Big Bike Creek Tail Worm. Here at Big Bike, we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go-to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods, tournament tested and tournament tough. I got my power pole down. So still in 